Okie dokie! Today, I'm gonna tell you about rules of water gun war. If you guys already watched my first video of water gun war, yes, I'm talking about that. If you haven't watched yet, just quickly check it out. Alright, so, I'm gonna divide my talk into three parts. Firstly, about number of people. This game needs at least 14 people because a team needs 7 people, a king or queen, 3 attackers, 3 defenders. But ideally, it would be better to get more people because 7 people are just minimum number, so the more the merrier. Secondly, necessary things you need to prepare. Yeah. So, of course, water gun and swimming costumes and cones you have to make out of here and two buckets it's for refill water and uniforms because if there are no uniforms it makes us confused which one is which team so we don't know our case we used hat instead of uniforms it's okay should be apples and tissues toilet rolls are better because easy to break and finally rubbish bag because after game you must clean field right so okay most important thing rules okay I think a little bit more closer right so as I said before a team has some characters about king or queen here the king or queen have to tie tissue on their neck. When tissue is broken, the war is ended. Your team is lost. Okay? It's simple. And about other cards. Three other cards. They also have to tie tissue on their neck. When the tissue is broken, they have to tie it again. So basically, just they are trying to break kings king or queen's tissues and actually one more character sniper it's a bit tricky this guy you need to nominate a other card to be a sniper right so these three other cards but one is sniper sniper is quite important person because beginning of war a sniper has to break the target target and to break the target other cards cannot move like this. Right? Okay about defender. They are a defender. They don't have to tie tissues. But they cannot attack an opponent king or queen. Just protect their king or queen. Okay? Alright, cool bananas. I hope you guys enjoyed this activity. If you have better ideas or something, please let me know these ideas. And thank you for listening to my immature English. They are very immature. Anyway, see ya!